Hello, everyone, and welcome to Expansion Network, accelerating the consciousness of humanity every single day. This is Angel Rebo. It's not that Casey has changed her voice. No, it's me that has video problems. So the, the streaming platform is just, you know, voicing me out to the world. But Casey's over there, as you know. This is the Ask Julius show, and it's show number 58. Casey, welcome back again to show number 58 how are you today absolutely fantastic i'm up here in northern utah at uh house in the living room uh connecting with everybody hoping everybody's having a super great day and so happy to be here absolutely and we love it because every single show you have these super delightful backgrounds and today is definitely not an exception i remember that giraffe i think it's a giraffe or something similar that shows like on your right at the at the back and obviously that you know clock on top is it's it's magnificent so thank you so much obviously for being here and thank you everyone for being here today today uh as i says i was saying before it's not that i don't have a face and i'm not personally there it's just the problem with the video so i am actually connecting from my cell phone which has certain limitations so i like i would like to start the show saying whatever happens you know, from a technical perspective, I'm going to do my best. It's the first time ever I'm actually conducting a show from the cell phone. The platform is the same, but obviously, instead of a 15, no, actually, instead of a, a 27 inches monitor, I have a six and a half inches cell phone. But anyway, here we are, and we already have so many questions. Hey, we just started, and we have so many questions here. Actually, we have Angel Wings, Amanda, say hello, everyone, with a lovely very very nice probably everybody's seeing it yes it is saying hello and she loves us love to everyone ursula ursula baker is also here as it couldn't be otherwise obviously stacy savage you are the third message today how comes you it's the third message and it's not the first one stacy you're always on top of your game thank you obviously for being here today let me show stacy's message here it is. All right. Says hi all. We are early today. Happy to be here. We we'll always try to be early. All right. And obviously our production team is also saying hello, hello, hello. And then we start with a lot of questions. All right. So as you can also imagine, and actually today it's going to be an exception. So I'm going to be showing the spring sale cleaning and clearing. Look at that. I'm going to be showing it right from the beginning of the show so everybody knows what to do whenever they have a minute all right so here it is you can see the show's special sale today okay but anyway let's go back to the questions and the first question comes from sarah everett brown sarah thank you so much for being here hi this is her question what can you say about the upcoming eclipse Lots of scare warnings for North America. Any info about it? Thank you so There's much. There's nothing to fear. There's absolutely nothing to fear, Master. Absolutely nothing to fear. Do not buy into the propaganda. Buy into the scare tactics. All is well. All is magnificent. Utilize the energies of any type of phenomenon when it comes to your solar system when it comes to your universe, 
to your galaxies. Masters, you are, you are source and you command and create all of your experiences. Never forget that. Never forget that. Please enjoy the phenomenon, draw in the extraordinary positive and magical energies from these phenomenons for your own self. It's a wonderful time to set your intentions, to get your manifestations in place. But we do recommend that you do grounding techniques for yourselves early in the morning, perhaps throughout the day. If you're viewing the eclipse, do grounding techniques while you're doing that for eclipse eclipses can tend to or um, mix timelines, okay, because of the extraordinary pulling aspects of them. So make sure you're going to ground yourself so you don't get bounced around and you don't you know, get thrown into the tumbler as everything works itself. And masters, this is a really great time for everybody to come together, send the earthship love, send humanity love, send those sentient beings so much love. There has been some extraordinary disclosure and collapse of many, many things in people's lives this year. You just in the first quarter of this year, people have experienced a complete teardown of their lives. And that, that is an energy and a frequency shift that is happening. Many people are in fear. Many people are confused. They don't know where to turn and where to go. When these phenomenons take place. It's a great time. love for everybody. Send everybody love and compassion and extraordinary and well wishes for knowing that the best and highest frequencies are already here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next question. And obviously, Sara, thank you so much. The next question comes from, by the way, lovely Andrelin is sending us lots of kisses. And the next question comes from... Hold on a second. I have to first read it myself. Otherwise, all right. So again, I apologize. I have to like make sure. All right. With P, that's that's a, that's a question that comes from. We are all in this together. Okay. So this is this question is is related to a celebrity from. We are all in this together, and she's asking the following thing. With P. Didi allegedly involved in Tupac and other celebrity deaths. Has there been foul play with most celebrities who have died of overdoses or suicidal, such as Chris Cornell? That's, we are all yeah. in this together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so everything that you're hearing, Master, is very late. It's very late. This is all now just being staged out to help people wake up to what is going on. We want you to understand that the celebrity world, celebrity of any kind is 100% satanic. They undergo satanic rituals. They undergo satanic practices. There's cloning, there is AI, uh, there's all kinds of surrendering of soul contracts. So usually when you see these very bizarre deaths or suicides, um, either they have been taken out because they did not comply with their contract to the satanic um, cult that they have uh, surrendered their soul to, or they have taken themselves out or been removed by those that they are cooperating with to take down that system. So one of those two things, um, that, that is the truth. That's what's ha happening right now. Uh, try to watch it right now is staged propaganda. They're just giving you a drip feed system on what has been going on for a very long time. The person that you are speaking of is already gone. He's already been taken out because of his satanic worship and because of his satanic practices. You're seeing all lookalikes. You're seeing all possibly some clones that they're working in, but they are disclosing the satanic rituals to the public. They're doing it very slowly. They're doing it on a very slow drip system, but that's what you're watching. All right. Thank you so much. By the way, Jen Prowlx says, hold on a second. She was able to make it live and she's extremely happy. Much love, much love back to you. And also Chantel Svensson is here. 
Love to all. We love you back as well. Also, Chad Anderson, the one and only. Chad is here and he's saying hello to everybody. And actually, look at that. Ursula Baker is asking if you do remote healing sessions. Do you, Casey? Absolutely. Do you can visit our website, expandwithjoyce.com, and you have the option of several different energy remote sessions to choose from. Absolutely. All right. And Lindsay Lee is saying hello, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for including me, although I'm not showing my face today. Why is that? Just because the video was not working properly. So no worries. I will always be here even if I am a voice over. All right. But it's not, it's not, it's not that Casey is imposing my voice. No, it's myself. Okay. This is Angel, not it's from heaven, puppet. which I am I'll indeed. My, I'll do my little puppet hand for your voice, Angel. <laughs> Why not? Why not? So thank you very much, everybody, for being here today. As you know, I've been showing, I've been showing this, uh, you know, QR code. If you want to scan it, this is something we will be talking about in a few minutes. In twenty more minutes, this is the fifty-eighth show of the Ask Julius show. Who would have said when we started that we're going to have already fifty-eight shows? My God, it's a lot of shows, a lot of questions, a lot of wisdom that we have been able to gather. Thanks to your questions, all the audience from so many places in the world, there's no, there's not a single continent where we have not received questions in those 58 shows. And we are so thrilled to have you guys here. All right. So I think that we have, yeah, Jen, hold on, hold on. All right. So yeah, we have another question from Ursula and that's Ursula's question. I always have a list of questions in my mind to ask. Thank you for doing that. But when I get here, I pretty much draw a blank. I find I find it odd. Has anybody else experienced this? I am wondering why it is happening. What do you think, Julius? I, I, probably just getting caught up in the energy. So we project ourselves from the moment of now. So it can be a different form of energy than when you are either planning ahead or being concerned about something previously for yourself. We would suggest you start writing a list of your question air and you can keep those questions close by to you when we have this beautiful connection. But we will tell you this, Ursula, you are amazing. You have such a loving and generous heart. You are so kind to be spending this time with us. We are honored to have you here or not. We really, really want to tell you how much we appreciate your interaction, your lovely, lovely and kind comments to us all the time, sending you love and magnificence wherever you are. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next question from Hilda. Hi, Hilda. Nice to see you. Nice to have you among us again. Are all the resources that humans, humans mind from the earth and other celestial bodies renewable? Hmm. That's a great question because the lithium is, is, is pretty intense. It's being, it depends on how badly they strip mine things out. Uh, we think what you're asking is, do they, you know, come back? Do they, are they renewable? Do they come back? Do they grow back? Or is, or is, is there anything that's fully extractable all the way down to way down to a nothing. And yes, um, that would take quite a long time for things to rejuvenate itself. The good thing is, is that the Earthship is living. It's a living energy, just like your physical body. It will grow new cellular structures in the in the form of elemental aspects, um, and balanced and utilized with respect and honor. This becomes completely, you know, ongoing and it does not hurt the ecosystem. It does not hurt the atmospheric system. Just like your physical body, if anything is overly extracted or overly forced or overly overloaded, you can cause an, an imbalance in the air, the water and the whole ecosystem. Humanity has a tendency to strip mine uh, because everything is profitable. Uh, as soon as the Earthship uh, realm or the third dimensional realm moves away from a commodity-based system, then it will be um, more likely, will be more mindful of how they work things. But it is the over-extraction 
overstimulation and the way they process these things that make them toxic and make them harmful to your environment. Awesome. Thank you so much. By the way, I didn't make a comment today, but as you know, we announced the other day that our uh, expansion network YouTube channel was, uh, let's let's say, blocked and it keeps on being like that. We tried to add it to the live stream today and we couldn't. So we really thank all the audience that moved from this YouTube channel of expansion network to the other channels that we have, either the expansion network or expand with Julia. So thank you so much for being so mindful and for always being with us, no matter what. All right, so the next question is and comes from Angel Wings Amanda. I watched the Beyond the Ordinary show with Casey and Julius. Amazing. Amazing. In upper It's a great okay. show. Amazing. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You, you see? <coughs> I'm chuckling on myself. Oh my God. So I'm so excited. I purchased the unlock, unlocking the, is it cryptic vault door? Okay, so she purchased the unlocking the cryptic vault door. Excited to meet you, Casey and Julius, at the end of May. Amanda, oh my God, I think that that deserves an, exclama an explanation, Casey, please. So John Burgos runs the number one telesummit world and we used to do the summit circuit back when um, we, I was first introducing Julius out to everybody many of our students came from us being on these telesummits and I have not been on John's summit for over five years he's a very dear friend and uh, um, since changes with Julius this year uh, I called <laughs> Literally called him, forgetting that John lives in Hawaii. I think I called him at seven o'clock my time in the morning. John picks up his phone. I couldn't believe it. He's in the gym. He's like, my God, Casey, how are you? We chatted for a while, put this as new vault doors that I'm able to get in and see. And he just literally slid us into his show very last minute. In fact, he ran us on a special night um, because his show was full and I've had an unbelievable response to the special that he's special angel a crazy special uh wow. now I'm thinking we probably should have put a cap on how many of them poor sue is drowning drowning in sessions getting them set up for me so ursula uh was that i'm sorry was that angel wings of the session I'm also looking forward to meeting you. It's going to be fantastic. Um, these sessions are mini sessions. I have to admit, they're mini sessions. These are not our full-blown sessions that we offer on the website. They're reduced. What you're going to get for the price, you're going to get an amazing experience, an amazing experience, and if it works for you, full sessions. But yeah, that happened on the 1st of April, uh, Angel, and it's uh, we've had a very, very good response. In fact, it's running right now, or it's going to run right after the show on a replay. So if everybody wants to jump over to our Facebook page, page and you can click on the Beyond the Ordinary show as soon as this show is done um, and watch the replay if you want to. We had a super great time. All right. Same thing. Where the people that missed it, where can we watch it? So after this show, Everybody can go to the Expand with Julius Facebook page and there will be a replay, yeah. correct? That's correct. Just look awesome. on the page. It's already listed. You're looking for John Burgos Beyond the Ordinary Show. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. There's right now another question. By, by the way, Ursula is saying, oh, thank you. And sending us love. Hilda is saying, where in short and long-term memory, where, excuse me, where is short and long-term memory term memory stored is it in our brain or is it in the field and brought into our brain on demand why some people can remember everything and others do not yeah that's a great question master so it depends on what you are describing as long-term memory you have um emotional memory that gets encoded and imprinted in your kundalini energy and travels with your soul from lifetime time that has nothing to do with the brain 
That's your soul's experiences. And those are based on extreme emotional conditions that code your Kundalini energy and your DNA. Um, and that travels with you energetically from time timeline to timeline, lifetime to life brain. Nothing to the brain because you don't take your brain with you when you go from lifetime to lifetime. During your singular life or what seems to be your singular life and memory recall of that life, some of that is stored in the internal components of the brain. Brain comes in through the frontal lobe. But if you all thought of all existence, that is in the pool of thought around you and that is drawn in. So your brain does not create thought, does not create thought. It records and processes thought. So your altered ego has a lot to do with your sub subconscious mind that gets locked in the several things that are going on. There's a lot of different things going on. So if you're talking about your absolute singular, only isolated life, there's parts of the brain that will just record things for you. And then you can replay that recording for your memory. But if you're long-term, the combined lives and combined experiences, that's an emotional aspect that your soul holds that you travel from physical lifetimes, from non-physical to physical and things like that. And why people have some extraordinary um, abilities for, for memory. Um, they aren't blocking their memories. A lot of times traumas and fears literally block information that's coming in and you just don't record them. And other people just have extraordinary comprehension abilities, extraordinary comprehension abilities are literally paying attention. Most people own to about 30% of conversations and or experiences. And so that's why there can be a spotty recall. But also something happens in the brain, masters, when you have extreme trauma in your life. If you have trauma in your childhood, you will act, your brain will actually create kinesia um, displacement, okay? And so in order to protect your body and your soul from the trauma that's happening, it'll, it'll blank it out. So then later on, when you go to recall a memory, you, you don't have any because your brain blocked it. A lot of try to fill in those spots. And that's why a lot of times in your life, um, you won't have a consistent story and you won't have a consistent storyline and you won't have um, a consistent truth in your life. This, once this is activated in the brain, it continues to do that throughout your life. So you will have those periodic episodes and that's due to trauma. And so you literally will block yourself from having memories. It's your soul and your, and your, um, your embodied spirit that is helping to protect you from too much trauma in your life. Wow. Quite a question and quite an answer. That's for sure. Awesome. So Stephanie was saying, hello. Hi, happy to be here. Stephanie Cruz. Always look forward to Thursday's show. We as well, as you can easily imagine. And then we go. Angel Wings, Amanda saying, I always do the same, Ursula. I keep telling myself to write them down, but then forget that too, Amanda. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, hold on a second because I, I love this question. We always have amazing questions from the audience. All right. So, this question is... Hold on, hold on. I'm going hold on, through some, and that's a question from the thing is. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, I'm going through that's an Ursula Baker's question again. I'm going through some major negativity in my town, which has a Masonic and Templar Knights history. All right. I was able to see the inside of the Masonic Temple and saw the stage and weird black cloaks and hold on hold on a second because i'm trying to see and hold on because that she's continuing in another message and uniforms but there, there was another message from someone else so and uniforms they were all right i feel that energy is trying to push me out of the town hard to explain how do i deflect their energy back to them and protect myself, my business, and my family. 
ultimately. Yeah, so they're hundred percent satanic. The Masons are satanic. Okay. So you're walking into satanic energy. Uh, stay away from the buildings, stay away from baseball fields. That's the satanic comp or that's the Masonic compass. Uh, so it's, it's a hundred percent satanic. Um, you need to put up high frequency field around you. We would suggest you put up a crystal grid around your workspace. Also in your home, we suggest that you work with feng shui energy. It's wonderful energy. You want to make sure that you have moving elements in your house. So you want to have moving running water water. You want to have live plants moving and you want to rotate them around in, in uh, your house. You want to hang prism crystals in your windows so that you have fractals that are constantly moving and changing and shifting the energies from coming in and, and rooting themselves. So satanic energies, and they like to root themselves. And the way that you prevent that is to keep your energy moving. Obviously, you can burn sage or, or Palo Santo also weekly to help move the energy. So think moving energy, okay? Also, masters, it is very, very useful to use sound frequency. Keep a sound bowl close, run the sound. Fantastic. So just th think moving energy and breaking up energy. So satanic energy is sticky and dense. And so keep the energy moving and also make sure that you keep your windows open. You keep the light coming in and you also open your windows, keep the air, fresh air coming in. So just moves energy and cleans energy, but crystals are really wonderful for that as well. Um, and that's the way you can protect yourself. Don't let their energy root and seed itself in your place of work or your home. Awesome. Amazing. Uh, the reality is that we sometimes, you know, obviously the experience that she's explaining is, is outstanding in the sense that he's able to, he's able to sense, you know, what's going on in his, in the work, in the town where she lives. So thank you so much for sharing. I think it can help a lot of people, this answer. Uh, 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 Ursula Baker saying, I'm not alone. Glad I'm not alone, Angel Wings Amanda, and then Hilda B. Mother Earth is a sentient being. Is the moon a sentient being? Are these asteroids sentient beings? Are artificial moons and planets sentient? That's a question from Hilda B. Uh, no, we would say they are not, they are not sentient. The, the moons and the asteroids and certainly not the artificial ones. Uh, they are, they are not sentient. Um, some of them are organic or non-organic, but it does not mean that they are sentient. Sentient meaning that there is a soul that resides inside. You know that that is true. If something is able to feel empathy, that's when there's a soul engaged. Now there can be uh, for embodied beings, um, souls that are hanging out and mostly removed from the body, um, the physical body can still be alive, still be interactive and still be functioning with just that soul into the body. But if the soul is completely outside the body, that creates narcissism, sociopath, psychopath, you know, psychopathic behavior commonly caused by extreme trauma in, in the body and in the human experience. But there's still a gossamer cord connection that operational can that soul be retrieved it can but it takes a whole lot of work by the person who's lost literally lost their soul or knocked their soul out and they usually are not aware of it and they usually don't have the desire to even do it because they have no no compassion and no ability for self one does not have a sentient inside of it it does not feel emotions very deeply it is mostly like a huge magnet like a huge 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 magnet and so are the asteroids in the comets they work as moving magnets and moving energy fields to keep your universe galaxy and on doing this everything expands and contracts and moves in and out keeps everything kind of moving keeps all the frequency bandwidths um, stimulated, expansive, and contraction and contractive for um, manifestation for all of you. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we are almost have way the show number 58 of the Ask Julia show. As you know, we are broadcasting live at the same time from North Utah with a great internet connection, by the way, Casey, and from North 
Texas as well. So what I, I always say, Texas is the land of the free, okay? And as you know, every single week we're trying to offer something special to our audience because the audience loves it. And actually, just, just a few minutes ago, a couple of members of our audience were explaining a wonderful experience that they had with the presence of, uh, you know, Julius and Casey on one of the most famous shows of the, in, the spiritual world here in the U.S. So now we're going to talk about some special content, very special sessions that are recorded on the Expand with Julius.com website. And I would like you to, you know, share with the audience, first of all, why they're so special. Second, what's going to happen after a few weeks after we yeah. put that special down, because, you know, we're going to let literally bring down the all, all of this. So it's not going to be available any longer. All right. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, what do people have to do in order to access that content and being able to use it today? Unfortunately, we'll not be able to show it uh, because, we, again, we are I'm live streaming from my uh, cell phone. But you can just scan the QR code that you see on the screen and it will take you to the expandwithjulius.com. And by the way, as I always tell you, if you have questions, you can send those questions to support at expandwithjulius.com. If you have questions about what Casey is going to tell you, don't hesitate to send questions to send anything comments to the following email support at expandwithjulius.com but go ahead casey i'm gonna stop now <laughs> yeah so um throughout my experience with julius for over 15 years now we have always produced class everybody um we have an overload of storage on those courses and classes over the years and now with the new launching of the Julia system for this year, we're getting rid of basically a lot of old content, a lot of it. It's just more and it's going to go completely away, completely away. You're not going to be able to get it. Um, and so if you want to catch up or if you want to start in on some extraordinary Julia's teachings at a crazy reduced price, that's what Sue and the team are doing. So they're putting throughout these, you know, a bunch of these courses and classes. You can grab them at a super reduced price for just a short time. When you get these, you're going to want to download them to your device because we are not storing them anymore. So whenever you put, if you purchase them, get them downloaded immediately. But I do have to do a shout out here really quick. Sue is overloaded <laughs> with emails right now. Thanks to all of you. Thanks to the shows that we have been on. Poor Sue is working overtime just to get emails answered. So please have patience with her. If you send in some questions or anything about these products, she's doing her best. But give her a couple of days. She's not ignoring you. We have the best support team on the planet. But yes, if you click on the QR code, it's going to take you to this month's special. So what Sue and the team is doing is they're putting glumps of these classes out each month for the next few months to clear them out, to clear them out. So this is your time, jump on board and get super great deals for yourself because they're going away. They're going away 100% as we unleash some brand new content from Julius this year. All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so then the next question is a long question. How am I gonna do this? How, all right, so live in canada and i am watching so many people i know struggle financially with the cost of life i agree yes. i've actually i've actually heard a lot of people online complaining about the same thing so kudos to you know everybody who's hanging in there in canada because we are all in canada and they have been extremely brave extremely brave for the last four years as you as you know casey actually supported and yeah. we have actually you know, talked about everything that they have been gone, going through. And um, many times we are actually, I remember the Freedom Convoy, you probably remember the Freedom Convoy when yeah. that happened, was it three years 100%. ago, I think, and we were supporting them, exactly, we were supporting them and we had, you know, testimonials coming from Canada at that very same time. So, uh, but thank you for bringing that to our attention, Jen. I'll try to read this again. The thing is that the, the the cell phone is so small that it's a little bit hard for me to hold on let me put it this way to read this question oh, the question is 
Our taxes are out of control. The interest rates are bankrupting. Rent is astronomical. It's breaking people. It's literally food or heat. Certainly, they don't have any cash to do fun things. And I'm watching them struggle to find joy. Are people going to be all right or are they going to lose everything before it gets better? That's uh, my gem for being so thoughtful about what's happening in Canada and with Canadians. Yeah. Master, we don't have any control over the timeline and the plan of when they're going to finally shift this out of this horrible, horrible system. Uh, they are disclosing and revealing things. The interesting comment that you made is, are they going to be all right? And masters, your all rightness comes from within. Your joy comes from within. Your power comes from within. You can live in a dumpster and be 100% joyous, 100% magical, and 100% in appreciation. Not that we prefer that for anybody state of being. It is very unfair that this is happening, but it's also an opportunity, Masters, because, you know, you guys all get to decide how much you're going to tolerate in a governing system. Uh, we suggest you watch the movie um, A Bug's Life from Disney with the grasshopper over the ants until the ants finally decide to take the, gra the grasshoppers down. Great representation. It could stop just like this. If all of you just stopped doing your banking, stop, you know, stop uh, buying into literally buying into these things, you could take your government systems down. But nobody is. So unfortunately, you are subject to their timelines. We press on to you that this moves rapidly and swiftly for a shift and change. But we uh, are hoping that this is going to at least be converted and shifted over before what you would perceive to be the turn of the new that naturally um, and through our calendar system uh, that the first of April was the first of the new year. So hopefully very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think it's a very, you know, hope. Uh, it's, a, it's a full of hope answer. And I think that it's very important to always remember that we have the power within us. So let's go to the next question. Do hold on a second. This question comes from Hilda. And obviously, thank you very much again, Jen, for the question. Do artificial moons and planets provide grounding to organic bodies? What is the effect on a human body to live on artificial planets or artificial celestial bodies? Uh, sorry, Angel, you're cutting out just a little bit. Do artificial moons and planets provide grounding to the our organic, organic bodies? bodies no, exactly. they do not. They, they do not. Um, you What you want to do is... Uh, um, need to use organic elemental systems to ground. You need organic elemental systems to ground, period. You need real soil. You need real water. You need um, real crystals. You need organic matter to ground. That's how it works. If you are living in a completely synthesized system, you won't be grounded. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for the question, for the answer. And now from Hilda B, we go to Ursula Baker again. Why did Max Zuckerberg build an underground bunker in Hawaii? What does he think will happen? Are there Hawaiian islands a safe zone of some sort? No, they're child trafficking headquarters. So he's got a bunker there because the White Hats are going to take, trying to take, uh, that that one of their headquarters out but mark zuckerberg is already dead so you're you're looking at a clone of, of him just a system to try to uh hide out some of the satanic leaders um uh, as the white hats take down those systems and flood the the uh tunnels all right next question i used to live in hawaii and i was visited in my apartment by what i felt as happy little mischievous fairy type spirits a lady at my work told me they were menahunes all right i'm not familiar with menahunes yeah. i wonder if they were the small people from lemuria great question mm. um so it's a faster in reference to fairies and gnome type creatures they're simply fourth dimensional creatures. They have many, many names, many names, 
We do not say that those are Lemurians in any way, shape or form. Completely different energy. Lemurians were full physical embodied type of being, um, but they do are fourth dimensional beings. Um, the island has undergone undergone a lot of abuse. The, all the islands have. These beings tend to come out and try. We, we refer to them as circumstantial beings. They sometimes come out to protect. Um, if you are a very kind, loving, compassionate, contributing to the earth type of person, they tend to bring good luck, prosperity to you, uh, showing you appreciation, uh, bringing you good health and um, lots of love in your life. And if you are not that type of person, they tend to help create chaos for you, ill well health for you, and try to drive you away from the islands. Wow. All right. So the next question comes from Hilda B. Very thoughtful question as well. This is her question. So Julius has said that artificial components lower frequency of life forms. Then what type of technologies are used by high consciousness societies? Great question. Well, it's not the technologies that are bad masters. It's who's programming the technologies. So the technologies only... So technologies can be programmed to be of benefit to you through frequencies that support your consciousness, support the resonance of your physical bodies, support uh, clean environments and things like that. And then other, if they are uh, uh, destruction through technologies, they program them to, the, to destroy. You know, an atomic bomb can do many, many, many things. It can completely destroy and annihilate, and it can also create a new environmental system. So it's not so much that the technologies are bad kind or programming the technologies, Masters. All right, thank you so much, Hilda B, for the question. Then, by the way, Ursula says, I felt that man, many, that many hewn spirits were happy. I was back. All right. So now a question again from Sarah Everett Brown. Can you explain endometriosis and natural treatments to regulate this monthly debilitating pain it creates? The medical field is spinning their wheels, trying to figure this one out, cutting it out. Hold on a second. Just lost the question. If you saw how small the window is with the question today here on my cell phone, yeah. <laughs> my apologies. Sorry for mm -hmm. digressing right now a little bit. All right. So, 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 exactly. So the thing, the medical field is spinning their wheels trying to figure this one out. Can Actually, it, they're not. They know exactly what to do with it. So endometriosis, okay. we're going to tell you, is a form of cancer. Um, it is generally as, um, activated through childhood vaccinations. That's that's what it is. Um, it can be. Um, um, it also carries an area over from other lifetimes and timelines when you have been uh, a deceiver and a betrayer. Um, and also more than likely that you've killed children or that you've harmed children in other timelines. Um, it's just a truth. It's not a judgment. That's usually what that holds for the person who holds a guilt component from the damage and the harm that you have done to children in other lifetimes. So that's the energy behind it. But it is a form of cancer, mild form of cancer in the body. Um, and the medical industry does know what to do with it. They're lying to you because they're lying to you about everything. Um, and um, as you can continue to put poison is into your body, acidities into your body, um, you're, you support all of the cancerous uh, growth and, and all of the uh, um, damage to your hormonal systems, the damage to your nervous systems, your bloodstream, your, um, all, all of your systems in your body are broken down through the toxicities that you intake. All right. Thank you so much. The next question from Stacy Savage. That's her question. What are we not being told about the recent Baltimore Bridge collapse? It's a it's a it's a process for uh, what is going on between the white hats and the black hats. That that's what it is. 
Um, so you're witnessing a battle. You're witnessing some of the um, um, byproducts of a war that's going on behind the doors anymore. So that's what is going on. Okay. Um, and that's all that we can say about that at this time. All right. The next question from Hilda B. I think it is. Yes. Can Julius recommend some herbs or natural remedies to help us grow new teeth? I read that eggshells and comfrey root might help. No, they won't help. So it's an enzyme that's being blocked in your body. And there isn't anything over the counter to help mimic that en that enzyme. So your your body is designed to continually grow new teeth like fingernails. Okay, and they blocked those enzymes through fluoride um, and all of the other chemicals they put in your toothpaste and in your mouthwash. And it's part of the calcification process of the pineal gland is is blocking that enzyme. So it's a natural enzyme that's been blocked toxicity systems. There's nothing you can take topically, um, like through eggshells and things like that, that's going to reactivate that at this time. Do they have the technology to do that? They absolutely do. Do they have the technology to activate those enzymes back into your body so that you can continue to grow teeth? They absolutely do. I'm, um, they have not been released to the public as of yet, and hopefully they will be through the MedBed system. All right, fair enough. Sarah Everett, by the way, saying, yes, Sue is doing an amazing job. We know, absolutely. All right, next question from Learning George, okay? Hi, Julius and Casey and Angel. There are supposedly 12 angels that came down like, well, 12 archangels that came down like Archangel Uriel that is Trump and JFK, who is Sananda. Do you know who the angels are and who they are down here? Thanks. That's an interesting question. Mm, we do not support that that is completely accurate, Master. So angels are have not embodied themselves, yes, and they do not interfere in the human experience. They're just observers. So we do not support that they're in here that's working with angels to assist um, uh, to assist humanity. We do not support that system at all. All right. Okay. Well, I can assure you that although you don't see me today to make a very easy joke, right? I am totally embodied. Okay, Casey? All right. Let's continue. Other than this angel, <laughs> this angel helps humanity in a, in a huge way. But we wouldn't say he's an archangel. We would say he's a boots on the ground angel sent totally. here to help children and humanity grow their consciousness. Totally. I agree with that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. So, by the way, this, the production team is saying, Thanks, Sarah, for the nice comment. We have a, such a nice people in our tribe. It makes my job easier. I couldn't agree more. And then, uh, 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 Angel Wings, Amanda, very interesting question. And obviously, there's plenty of countries in the world we are, who are very ahead on the game regarding what actually Angel Wings, Amanda, is uh, going to talk about and what the quest her question is going to be. And China is leading, actually, the pack worldwide on this. Her question from Angel Wings, Amanda, is... Will digital ID happen? And if so, will it be a positive thing or not? Thank you, Amanda. Uh, we do not look at it as a positive thing in any way, shape, or form. We think it's another slavery and imprisonment aspect. What do you need it for? Why do you need to be constantly tracked? When you ask us, is it going to be? They are doing it. They are doing what vaccines are. Oops, we said it. Did we say that? We did. No. <laughs> All right. So actually, it comes very, 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 very handy for the next question. Is there a cure for autism? There is, but most people aren't willing to do it. So autism metals that are put into the vaccines. So autism is 100% vax damage backs injury a hundred percent there's no such thing as natural autism zero 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 none okay it's all about metabolism. be detoxed quite a bit but um 
uh, you would have to clean up not only the metals in the brain, but all of the sugars and all of the salts, uh, artificial salts and chemicals out of the body. So it would take a severe detoxing aspect um, and it can, can be done, but you got to stop vaccine to continue. All, it's like you're asking us, you know, can, can you get rid of something, but then keep shooting it into your body? That, that's what's going on. And uh, unfortunately, most people who have autism are severely addicted to sugar and salt and crappy food. And so the parents of artistic children just go ahead, they throw a fit and they go through a detoxification aspect and they don't want to deal with that. So autism is an inflicted thing and a heavy metal detox would, would produce amazing results, but you have to stay in a clean system. You have to stay a clean system. And most people, just like most of humanity doesn't want to clean up their, they don't want to clean up their diet. They don't want to. Okay. They make every excuse under the sun to not clean up their diet. And then ask us why they can't raise their consciousness. So really masters, it's, it's a, it's an aspect of a priority to answer your question. It can be cleaned up quite a bit, but most people don't want to do it. All right. It's funny because I was going to ask you a question related to this, and I think also it comes really, really close to your idea. So lately I've seen in the, let's say in the uh, non-mainstream media, I have been reading a lot about, you know, alternative, not allopath allopathic doctors talking about how many degenerative diseases actually have their origin on parasites. The origin of parasites. I've, I've been reading a lot of articles and a lot of people are talking about this. Mm -hmm. And to your point, when you were saying, you know, how difficult it is to stop being addicted to some sorts of food, I have read that actually the parasites can even reach a point in which they are making you addict to certain yeah. food. So yeah. my question is, how much truth is in there so that your parasites, regardless of where they are in your stomach, in your digestive system, in your brain, in your ne neurological system, they actually, they actually are able to decide what kind of food you have to you have to eat, and you don't realize. Is that a possibility? Absolutely. It's also the hormones and the enzymes in dairy that cause you very cause addiction addictive behavior. So if you are intaking dairy, which um, unless you are a very strict vegan um, or frugivore where you have eliminated dairy from your diet and you're really watching to see where they're putting dairy, an addictive ends, uh, mechanism in your brain that makes you crave crap, sugar, salt, you know, things like that. And yeah, the parasites can do the same thing. There's just a mechanism in the brain that triggers addiction. Um, and addiction is never to anything really great. Um, and yes, the parasites, uh, there are natural parasites, masters. Uh, areas uh, that work with your system um, for, for various things. And then there are the really nasty artificial ones like in the, um, again, getting back to the vaccinations where they've actually put parasites in there. They're growing uh, artificial, artificial parasites um, that really do a lot of damage to the body. Obviously they're in um, the, the, um, your meats, your, your fish, your meats, um, the dairy systems that are not, um, natural, clean and organic, anything that's in the food production industry, they're actually injecting, um, artificial parasites into your meat and into your dairy. And those buggers are nasty, 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 nasty. Absolutely. All right. I think that we have reached the last question here from our online live list of questions. So what I'm going to do, hopefully, please, make. I, I will try to make sure that I don't lose you, but I've never done this before, like going to another app while we are live streaming. So I will keep on talking and you tell me, Casey, if you lose me or not. Okay. okay. So, you know, yeah. you know what we could do? Actually, I'm, I'm thinking that it would be much more Excuse me, there's a new question, so I don't have to go to the offline questions. All right, so Angel Wings Amanda, there are so many opinions on coffee out there. Is it bad for you? No, we don't think it's bad for you, but it depends on where you go. Again, it's how it's treated and the chemicals used 
you know, with it. It comes from the earth. It's it's a great stimulant for the brain when used pop properly. It gives you it it boosts your metabolism, boosts your brain activity. Uh, it's it can boost your mood. Um, out there, we think that the teas that come from the earth are great. White teas, red teas, black teas, green teas, orange teas, wonderful things. The problem is the processing system for the coffee. That's the truth. Um, and so that's where you really, 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 really need to be mindful as to where you're getting your coffees from and how i um, processing them. So, you know, the really, really, really wonderfully old fashioned way of just boiling them in a, in a, in a saucepan on the stove slowly to extract, you know, that from the bean is still a great way. But um, what they're most, when they're talking about coffee, not being good for you is they're talking about the injectables the injectable packets, and those are pure poison, pure poison, um, formaldehyde is actually in them as a preservative. Wow. Amazing. Well, unfortunately, I have to say that we have reached the end of the show, but I can tell you, regardless of not being connected to the YouTube channel of Expansion Network, we have been growing and growing and growing our audience throughout the show. Thank you so much for being always with us, regardless. Even regardless, my personal face not showing today just because the video connection wasn't good, but I hope that the audio has been good. We have a question here from Shannon Hooley uh, that we're going to keep off, you know, for the our offline list of questions, please. Sue, if you were so kind, Shannon Hooley is asking, actually, there's two questions. The first one is from Shannon saying, when will they, quote unquote, they be stopped from harming um, humanity? And the other one is from Stacy. I believe Julius is, or in the past, has recommended organic and fair trade whole bean coffee. Exactly. Uh, all right. So thank you so much. That was show number 58. It's amazing how fast the time goes. Thank you so much for being with us. Remember, I'm going to show again this wonderful, absolutely amazing, you know, sale that we have right now going on. It's a show that's going to be up only, only, only for the remaining of the month of April, and then we will take it down. It will not be there any longer. And obviously, every single piece of content that Julius, you know, Expand with Julius has generated through Casey for the last 15 years is every single, every single piece of it is a jewel, is a diamond, all right? So just go there, scan the QR code, and see. Hopefully, hold on a second. There it is. All right. So, Casey, anything else you would like to add? Obviously, great connection. Thank you for being in the north part of the state of Utah. And thank you, obviously, for who gladly, kindly has allowed us to be there live streaming. All right. So, thank you, Casey. Any last words? Gosh. Just so much appreciation to everybody. You guys are you are just amazing. It's like just meeting up with friends every week, right? Angel's like, Angel, are we ready to meet with everybody? It's like, yeah, let's go sit down and, and have a powwow, you know, with everybody. Yeah, it's amazing. We could not be doing this with all of you. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being with us. And we wish you nothing but joy and blessings in your life. We look forward to seeing you next week. Absolutely. See you next week. Thank you so much. And now the outro video. We love you. Thank you for being with us. I'm, we are sure that you have enjoyed this conversation as much as we have. We keep on expanding and accelerating the expansion of humanity's consciousness. Thank you for doing that alongside us. We love you. Bye-bye.